My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. AppsEvents.com, your place to find tips and tricks that you can use in your classroom. So let's add another one to it. Today we'll be looking at our Google Drive and I'm going to give you a couple of quick little tips that will enable you and help you to tidy up that Google Drive. Seeing as we are now in the summer, it's the perfect time to tidy up our Google Drive ready for the new school year. So let's just jump into Google Drive. As you can see here, I have my Google Drive open and I have many different files, folders. Frankly, it's a mess. So let's go ahead and tidy up our drive. Now, the first tip is to have a skeleton of folders. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the new button, create a new folder. And it's important here that you decide on a naming convention that works for you. Maybe you are going to ABC your folders or you're going to number your folders. I like numbering my folders. So I'm going to say one space hyphen and I'm going to call these all my personal documents. Personal. I'm going to create a second folder two space hyphen and I'm going to call these work. I'm even going to say that this is schoolwork. Then I'm going to create a third folder work and then this will be AE and we're going to create another folder. This will be four. This will be images and resources. Now Whatever you end up naming your folders, make sure that it makes sense to use. For example, one of your folders could be work or your school documents. And then what I mean by saying a file skeleton is you're going to be creating lots of subfolders. So for example, this work folder is going to have a number of different subjects. So for example, again, we're going to use that same naming convention. One will be maths. Then we're going to have another which will be English. And we're going to add a PSHE folder as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, as long as the skeleton makes sense to you, you can then move on to the second tip and that is to use lots of color. So here we can color code each of these folders. So we're going to right click on maths. I'm going to change the color. Let's use red for this. For English, we're going to use green. And PSHE, let's go ahead and use that yellow orange color. Now, the reason that I'm using color is so that when I am using the different grid view, it is very clear which folder I'm looking at. I can go back to my main and do the same for my numbered folders. I'm going to go ahead and color code them. Right click, change that color. Red are my personal files. Then two, these will be my school files. Then we'll use green and images and resources. We will use blue. Now, yes, this can be quite time consuming if you have a lot of files, but in the end, it will all pay off. Now, once you've built up that skeleton, the third tip will be to start deleting files. Now, there are a lot of files on your Google Drive that you haven't opened in a long time or that you're not using. Well, start deleting those files. So here, for example, this class survey, this is from a very long time ago. I'm going to just delete that folder. I no longer need this folder. Let's move that to the bin. Now, under no circumstance, delete the classroom folder. That is part of your Google Classroom. You can tidy up Google Classrooms using Google Classroom and we will make a video on that as well. But within your Google Drive, leave that Classroom folder where it is. I'm going to just leave that. This is a Google Sites demo site. Now you can go in and have a look at what we have here. Okay, this is a demo site that was used for some training. So let's go ahead and drag this into the correct folder. Then we have some file responses. We no longer need that. And then we have something that's titled my new folder. This was probably created at some point and then never actioned. So let's go ahead and delete that folder as well. We no longer need that. One more tip will be to use your search at the top. So let's go ahead and click on search. And the first thing we're going to search for is untitled. If you are like me, you will have lots of untitled documents that were created at some point in time. So let's go ahead and delete all the ones we no longer need. Now I don't need this one. Don't need that one no longer need this. 
I no longer need that spreadsheet, don't need that form, don't need that empty site. So we can just go ahead and delete these. And using this, by using untitled, we can very quickly delete files we no longer need. So here we can see another untitled presentation I no longer need and some other things. There we go, moved it to the bin. And then finally, we're going to rearrange some of these other documents. So let's go ahead and find the ones we would like to keep. I would like to keep this one. I want to make it part of my apps events folder. So let's go ahead and right click on this, move to, and let's move this to the relevant folder, move. Okay, we're going to skip over these. We no longer need that. This is another demo. So we're going to click on this website move to and we will move this to the correct folder all the rest we can probably delete so let's go ahead and do that we're going to select the rest and delete these files now you will see that my google drive looks much cleaner i can use the list view and i see that i just have a number of folders there i can use the grid view i can go in find the files and what is key is that you are creating that skeleton of folders. So for example, here, we can really dive down and keep track of where our files are. Final step now is to delete what's in our bin. Now, you can leave it in there, it automatically gets deleted after 30 days, but I like the feeling of just going in and emptying that bin. So let's go ahead and delete these files forever. There we go, they are gone. My Google Drive has been tidied up ready for the summer, ready for next school year. Let us know in the comment section below what your top tips are to keep your Google Drive tidy or to tidy it up at the end of a school year. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.